Hey guys, Hugh Shang here. Welcome to another StarCraft 2 lesson. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some Terran macro mechanics. And I'm going to talk a little bit here before pressing play, so bear with me. I'm just going to uh, <laughs> explain the concept. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to um, figure out a more simple approach to managing all of these production buildings. So obviously there's a lot going on in StarCraft and um, maybe depending on what league you are, if you're Masters um, or maybe Diamond, you've got this decently locked down, but um, there's a lot of things going on. We've got to be making SUVs, we've got to be making uh, Marines, tanks, uh, Starport units, maybe Medivacs, maybe Vikings. We've got to get our upgrades. Um, <laughs> you know, there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on. So at least for the production, we want to try and simplify this into um, you know an easy to automate manner. So, so how are we going to do this? Well, the way I've devised uh, the best way to do this macro is to prioritize your gas first. Now there are some exceptions to this, but as long as you're macroing, it's better to prioritize your gas. Uh, units before your Marines and the reason for this is you need those minerals for stuff like depots and SCVs and if you try and make too many Marines and cut the um, the tanks and the star ports first then you're cutting your best units and you don't necessarily need a lot of Marines right away because you can take advantage of your siege tanks for example in uh, in this game here you could take advantage of these siege tanks, um, even if your opponent had a little bit more marines. So it's much better to prioritize these gas units. So if you're gonna do it, if you're gonna do this macro, first of all, I, I think it helps a lot if you have the production on separate keys, but you could just tab um, the first time to get to the factory if you wanna do it like that. So let me take a man here. I guess I gotta go back a little bit. Let's go here, and what we're gonna do is we're going to prioritize these gas units before the Marines. Okay, so I have the um, the E base. Let me start making units. So I made a tank here. I'm gonna get my one one. Let's get this base set up, and then at this point in the game, you would you know start getting into this cycle, this routine of making these units. So, supply depots first things first. Let's drop some mules, and then let's focus on this cycle. So, we want to make the gas units first. So, let's make a tank, let's make some Vikings. And then we have some gas left over. I'm looking up here right now. I'm not worried about the minerals. Don't worry about the minerals. And I'm looking at my gas. I have, I have a lot of gas. And so, I need a way to spend this. So, you should see if these are producing, which we just did. And then you should go over to your upgrades, um, or you could go over to um, you know like sensor towers or something. In this case, I think we're gonna need most of this gas for the two two, so I'm gonna throw down an armory, and I'm also going to get combat shield. Now um, for the minerals, what you're gonna be doing <clears throat> is ignoring it up here, but you're going to make sure that your SUVs are constant and you're getting depots uh, when you need them. So we're prioritizing these depots over the Marines. Queued up some more SCV. I'm trying to keep this even so it's a little bit easier to manage. Basically, instead of thinking about this command center making SCVs and the other command center making SCVs, I'm just thinking about them as like one entity. You know, if I need uh, one extra set of SCVs, then I make one extra set, not you know one here and one there, just one set. So this simplifies that. Go back to our factory and starport. Make sure these are queued. Back to our SCVs. Back to our depots. You can basically see I'm just not making marines. Um, <laughs> so this is a huge mistake that I see quite a bit in uh, Diamond with my Diamond students. Is you're trying to keep the production going when you shouldn't be. And there are some times where you need to keep the production going constantly. Like if you're getting all in, for example then it would be useful to cut the SUVs, but 
if you're macroing, there's actually not enough resources to make to necessarily make the Marines all the time. So if you're trying to do that, that's an easy way to spend all of your money and then not realize you didn't make depots. Like if you make these Marines, you won't have money for depots. <laughs> and so you're going to get supply blocked. I think this is the main culprit for people getting supply blocked is they're trying to keep their production going when they can't afford it. Okay, let me keep playing a little bit. So here I actually do need to make a round of Marines. You can see my money is getting a little high, even though I just made these depots. So let's do a round. Let's queue up our tank and, um, and uh, Vikings. Let's grab these gases. Checking my gas again. These are queued up. This is almost done, so we're going to need some gas for that. Floating a bunch of minerals again. And now I can make some, some more Marines and maybe uh, some more barracks here. So, so you can see here, this idea of just prioritizing, I'm going to keep playing actually because I want to show you guys something else. So you can see this idea of, uh, you know, prioritizing the gas is pretty simple, but um, extremely effective in terms of how you can manage your economy. So it really simplifies the, the macro down. Obviously, it's still not, not the easiest thing, but... Um, definitely making it you know easier than than it otherwise would be so try this technique let's go a little farther so here I have five racks now let's start going three depots since we have quite a bit of production coming up and let's get our upgrades and then again what I would do here right after these upgrades is again focus on this gas see what needs to be queued up we see these Vikings need to be queued up, and we see the tank needs to be queued up, and then we're broke. So that means either Marines or, or maybe some other form of uh, mineral expenditure. So let's go for this CC. I think it's good. And then maybe some Marines. Okay, cool. And there's another huge benefit that this has, if you can get it down, is that you can basically do your macro without looking except for at the gas so what I'm doing right now is I'm keeping track of what I just made so I just made a tank so that means the next thing I'm gonna make let me just cheat here so I can talk <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna make after a tank is a Viking right so I just wait till 200 make some Vikings and then here's here's the beautiful part though we don't need to look at the the barracks and we don't need to, we didn't really need to look at our production either. So what you can do now is just hold down A. Boom, done. And if we look down here, it's not perfect, but um, it's it's pretty decent actually. It's a little bit overboard. Like uh, what I would like to do is maybe, uh, you know, two Marines on this, on the Tech Lab one and four on the other ones is, is uh, my ideal. <clears throat> but it's it's pretty accurate um, if you're if you're macroing well, because you just generally have enough to... Uh, support this amount of um, production so this is going to help you quite a bit when you are doing a lot of other stuff and this is um, something that pros are using a lot is not doing the macro perfect in the end game or at least not as perfect as they could be doing and trying to keep it more simple more um, automated so that they can do other stuff i think i originally stole this from clem <clears throat> clem is doing this a lot but he's doing it even more frequently He's uh, spending his money like this, where he makes like one tank at a time, and then he queues up a bunch of Marines. So he's doing it a little bit faster. You don't need to do that. You can just do a full cycle at a time. Um, but this is an extremely effective method for simplifying the macro, which obviously is going to be a huge deal when there's so many things going on in the game. Drops, harass, your attacks, their attacks. So try it out. Let me know how it goes. If you enjoyed this video, you found uh, some of these tips helpful, then leave a like, comment, and uh, I will see you in the next one.